Hello everybody and welcome to Nextreme. Today is the day we've all been waiting for. We're going to be playing some Streets of Rage 4 on the Nintendo Switch. Let's check it out. Hello everybody, welcome back. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below, and uh, let's get into this game. Okay, so we're in the main menu of the game here. We are playing with our Apado M30 Pro Controller. Uh, what I like about this game is, you, if you go in the options here, there's an input setup, and I have it set to Legacy Mode, which essentially uses the same controls as the old game. Uh, C, uh, well, with this controller, C is jump, B is attack, A is special. You can map the buttons to the controller how you like, and that is awesome because it gives you the option of using any controller you want. In this case, I got the 8-bit Doe controller, which is everything I could possibly want for this game. Um, if you turn off Legacy Mode, it brings a more of a complicated control scheme up. Um, but I like in Legacy Mode because that's how I'm used to playing, so let's see how this game is. I have not started or played this game yet, so let's check out Story Mode. Okay, slot one, two, three. We got some save games. We're obviously going to use slot one, and let's put it on normal. Feel what the game's like. Okay, we are now in the character select area. We have Axel. Animation's very nice. And you got Blaze, and then you got Cherry Hunter and Floyd, the new characters. And you have a blanked out area, which will be filled with Adam Hunter once you unlock him. So let's start with Axel and see how he feels. So from what I understand, um... Ten years have passed since the fall of Mr. X and the Syndicate. The city has been at peace until now. A new crime empire has arisen, corrupting everything good in the city. It is rumored to be led by Mr. X's own children, the Wide Twins. Former detectives Axel Stone and Blaze Fielding join forces with their old friend's daughter, Cherry Hunter, along with Floyd Uria, in uh, an apprentice of the brilliant Dr. Zan. That together these four vigilantes stand against the Y Syndicate on the streets of rage. Awesome animation um, done by uh, .mu. They also did the remaster of Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap, which was the first thing I played that these guys have done. Okay, so it looks like we got a city map. Kind of set up, but it looks a li little tiny bit like... Uh, Streets of Rage remake map. Alright, stage one start. Nice big sprite. Okay, we got our punch. Okay, Axel feels a little bit slower than I'm used to. Looks like they took running out. You cannot run as Axel. Like in Streets of Rage 3. Impact feels great though. I gotta say. Got my down attack. Okay, so now as you can see, that's a new added feature in this. Um, you can bounce guys off the walls. Okay, that move works. It's my forward uh, special. My forward attack there. Now I did notice that uh, they took out also the special meter that is in Streets of Rage 3. So I gotta um, use a special attack and see... Uh... Man, the animation's gorgeous in this game. I gotta use a special attack, see how that drains my health. Okay, so I, from what I understand is you get that green box every time you use your special. And if you get hit before you can... Uh, as, if, as long as you attack guys before that... Uh, and uh, your life will regain... Sorry. Your life will come back as long as you uh, attack guys. But if you get hit uh, before, then you lose that health. Man, I'm already down three quarters of a bar. I shouldn't be doing this poorly. The AI is good in this one. Maybe I should put it on easy. No. Yeah, Axel definitely feels a lot different, though, than previous games. It's a lot slower, a lot heavier. Mm. 
You have to get used to this uh, slower, stiffer axle. I already lost the life bar. I've never seen that before. Only two health, eh? I don't know if I gotta turn that up in the options like in the old game. Two life bars only. Looks like uh, I can't fight the the Donovans have a nice uppercut in this one to use. The pipe. Okay, looks like they added a little bit of a forward special attack with the uh, pipe, but it's not, not not cool like in Streets of Rage 3. Um, So this first level is very reminiscent of Streets Bridge 2. You walk forward a little bit and then you go down on an angle. So I'm wondering if, uh, how uh, similar it's going to be. Oh, we got these knife guys. The knife Galcias. The most annoying character in Streets of Rage lore. They put him back in. The AI is a lot better, a lot tougher in this one, that's for sure. Seems like it's a lot harder to uh, pull off the forward attack too, I wonder why that is. There we go, I figured it out I think. Really low on health already, and I just started. Oi, I didn't see that coming. Oh, music changed up. I don't know if that's boss music. I don't see bust up the car. It's like in Street Fighter. Got a star out of it. See if there's any help in these. Nope, it's a knife. You have to get used to that change of control there a little bit. Game over already? Holy smokes, it just started. Now yeah, let's try run through it again with a different character. No assist. Add one life. Score divided by two. Add two lives. Add one star. Score divided by four. So you got a little bit of assist. Okay, so let's change character. Let's try, uh, let's see what, uh, let's see what Blaze is like. Do a quick run through his bra blaze, and then, uh... Or the, the, uh... Okay, let's see what happens. Can't believe I died that easy. This game's a lot tougher. I gotta get used to it. I think they uh, they want you they want to encourage you to use your specials more in this one, not just in like dire situations. I think they want you to use it more in like a combo sense. Yeah, so I think I'm getting more of the hang of how this one's structured now. They want you to use your specials a lot. Okay, Blaze can't run either.
Which I think is kind of a drag, because, like, running is... Uh, when they added the running in Streets of Rage 3 for all the characters, it really uh, made the combat a lot, uh, a lot more fast-paced. He's got some cool knife attacks though, not just the regular stab like usual. Jump kicks aren't as effective in this one as they were in the uh, old one, it seems like. At least with the Donovan, because they seem to block the jump kicks all the time. Yeah, they really encourage you to use your specials in this one. I'm curious if you use two in a row, if it just doubles your green area, or if you lose the life from the previous use. I gotta keep an eye on that. Definitely doing a lot better with Blaze, that's for sure. There we go. Pizza, pizza. See, I lost that health there. She's a little bit slower with using the pipe. Forgot about the car already. There we go. Just combo, keep combo them into the car. Hinting that it wants me to use my star move, but I think I'm gonna save that if I make it to a boss. Can't jump kick the Donovans, apparently. They're just all called Donovan in this one. Usually in the other ones, though, only the first one's name is that, and then they. Uh, Give them other names later on. Ooh, a boss. Take my move. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Took half his health. Okay, I got two of those. There we go. That kudo. I don't know how many life bars this guy's got. It's not too bad though. I guess he is the first boss, so I can't expect him to be too hard. Full of pipes. Some sort of robot. There we go. Last light, last life bar already. Wow, that took a lot of health. 
health. Okay, well, he's dead anyways. Well, everybody, let's end the video there. If you like what you saw, hit like. If you dislike what you saw, hit dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. We'll see you later.